I'm here in Medellin, Colombia. Um, I've been traveling here, coming around, going just to different cool sites, going uh, paragliding, doing cool stuff like going in helicopters, um, lots of fun stuff, going to some of the, the outer boroughs here to see some of the cool graffiti, all these kinds of things. And one of the most common questions that I get when it comes to my YouTube channel is, how do you find all of these great places and things to do? Don't you get lonely? Like, how do you even um, go out at night? Are you just going out alone? Like, this kind of stuff. How do you meet other travelers? And for the other digital nomads out there, one of the great resources that I was fortunate enough to just stumble upon um, when I went to El Salvador was Airbnb and specifically Airbnb experiences. So, Airbnb is great. It's a resource basically where if you're interested, you know, you can get a hotel quality room. Um, a lot of these rooms are either in hotels, in apartments, or people out there um, renting out their own home. You can get a really discounted room. So you don't have to be staying in a hotel paying an arm and a leg. It's kind of like the bread and butter, I think, of anyone who wants to be a digital nomad is to start booking your trips with Airbnb. And we're gonna include a link down below um, if you're interested in checking out that website and you haven't heard of it before. It's super safe very well, um, I would say, safeguarded and verified and lots of people have booked trips in there. I've never had any issues with Airbnb. You can also, like with Yelp or with Amazon, you can see all the different reviews that people have of the properties, the things they liked and they didn't. It's a really great community in that way. So I definitely would recommend um, booking your trip with Airbnb. In addition, if you're interested in doing stuff like a night out in the town, you're interested in going paragliding, um, you're here in Medellin, Colombia, and you wanna do horseback riding, that kind of stuff, you could always try and find like a traditional travel agent to try and figure that out, or maybe look on TripAdvisor, et cetera, but you don't always know the, the veracity of the companies on these different websites. So Airbnb actually has another great thing, which is Airbnb experiences. And this is what I've been using a lot more uh, when I've been going to new, new cities just like this, and I want to meet a bunch of other travelers, I'll do an Airbnb experience and then I meet a ton of other foreigners. I don't always necessarily want to mingle with locals, you know, it's kind of cool to do that, but sometimes I just kind of want to meet other folks from around the United States or from around the world or from, you know, different states like Connecticut, like random things like that. And these Airbnb experiences are how I've been able to connect with other digital nomads in the area. How I've been able to do photo shoots. I did a really high quality photo shoot here in Medellin. That's how I connected with the photographer. It was using the Airbnb experience. Um, so the Airbnb is kind of like a great resource, I would say, for number one, your stays. Um, finding hostels also, you can do that as you want to. Um, I prefer Airbnb just because I want my own room. But in addition, it's great for experiences, for discovering fun things to do. Um, I'll give you another example. I don't use it necessarily all the time. So like um, with Guatapeque, which is one area here in Medellin, I was looking at the Airbnb experience. I was like, you know, this, this seems kind of pricey, so I'm gonna look online. I found a better rate, but what it did was it gave me an idea of something cool that I could do in this city. And you can sort of save those ideas, you can save those apartments and lists, kind of make a, a wish list, if you will, for when you're visiting a new place. So I definitely recommend that. Um, and the other thing that I would say is, in terms of meeting people, hostels are a great um, resource to go to a bar, to go to a cafe, at a hostel, to also go and join different Facebook groups out there. These are all easy ways to connect with people um, when you are traveling as a digital nomad. But I hope that that, answer, that helped to answer that question for you. And if it didn't, if you have more, leave it in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer it.